Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao. Down goes Barrera. He wants, or what his chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish Barrera right here in the third round. And Barrera takes advantage. What a fight. Pacquiao is striping Barrera with left hands. Marco's hanging in now. He's tasted the power. Survived this round, and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later. Pacquiao's going to be in trouble. But if this stays right here, everything, everything is great for Pacquiao at this stage right here. Straight left through the center. Perfect. Hard right, left to speed tonight. But Pacquiao's body punches set up another knockdown, and Lawrence Cole says no. it's not a knockdown. And their feet must have been tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand, and there's another one like. That looks like more of a knockdown. Yeah, because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey. Barrera gets the cut. Quite as much power in his weight class. But, but it brings a lot of... Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landed. Didn't manage to really hurt. Pacquiao giving Barrera momentary breathing space. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit. Should not time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches in that case. I would try to go all out for a knockout. Because he can't. Right now, minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't. In the past. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. But I agree with you. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, as big as he assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. Not posted. He's not lighting it up like a new. The highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters in the world. Send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because that guy is not backing off. If you have a guy that was he's holding getting hurt. Off, Here comes gotcha. Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's gonna step into the ring. That's a but he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. This this has the makers of being a very interesting fight. Momentarily shocked. Oscar. Right here you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is he should right between the when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. The one thing that you mean is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement. There is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. And and Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut and up the middle. To land something, you have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body, belt his back against them. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for De La Hoya. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday, in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar De La Hoya really hurt somebody with the right hand? And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head and yeah. him so much, and, and even if he doesn't land his eyes, I keep pumping him. But good he doesn't body, jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could be beaten. I personally had expected, and perhaps more so than De La Hoya expected as well. When a lot of the experts... Good body shot by Oscar. 
Biggest bolt to the fight for De La Hoya. Trajectory, that's why they call it a 45. Straight left hand right up the pipe. If you ever see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting a straight left hand right down the pipe. Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar. But still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd see something more. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao yeah. is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. Who's looking Hard entirely shots. at Oscar. De La Hoya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing him. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140. Cody Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar De La past, but he's getting beaten up here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Right it's over. Matty Pacquiao Oscar has beaten so Oscar De La to the audience was for him to create anxiety and pressure on M Manny. So Hatton wants to apply pressure. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. With the right and the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Ended up being a very wrestling tight match also. Great right hand for Hatton glazed across the face and of Pacquiao. No, Hatton's Pac face Pac is already red. I thought Pacquiao landed the right hook. Work out, work out, work out. Punch, puncher. Well, follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. Pacquiao was coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so back. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly thick. No opponent sees the punches coming. A very Another perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming in, never saw it. And what's amazing, to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to fight fire with fire. Yes, he's trying to smother this guy and get close. But the, the, the punch is still packed out. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Over past the zoo. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. Ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to couldn't do. And his head, head movement is And allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. Oh, oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? And Kenny Bellis says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. Any fighter. And Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw it. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. And there's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. Cotto will keep going there anyway. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto just physically a bigger guy. Now Pacquiao starting to... He's going to punch so far. And he's going to see if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. 
and slugging with him. Plus the footwork gets him into position oh, yeah, to he, land. He bounces off his top. Very good. He was rushing in. Manny landed a little right hook in there. That's and right. follows up by knocking Cotto. Pacquiao beating Cotto to the punch now. No blood. Three hard body shots for stop throwing. Cotto lands his jab. Now when Pacquiao throws, Cotto goes into a little shell. Because of all the speed he's seen. That's Manny's rhythm to go in and out and punch on his Left toes. hook counter by Cotto landed. We've seen Cotto in these situations before. And he comes back. Pacquiao getting hit in recent fights. Uppercut yeah. snaps Pacquiao's head back. Remember. Great reflexes and time and waiting scenes all over this that very few fighters can see. That's why he lands a lot. But he, even he landed it a few times. Because he can hurt you with punches and not even stand up punches. And, and when Cotto... Tactical retreat. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late rounds against Margarito. Decision to just box is yielding better results than, than the earlier firefight. But now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big left. But Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Holding on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this round. He can't see the punches coming. Trying to counter. Freddie's been pretty good at this, huh? Fight me. He said Pacquiao would still win. Pacquiao going to go in for the kill. Now. Pacquiao is looking for KO 11 right here. Cotto still fighting. We're going to see at the end of this fight. Sure. You have to doubt he'll ever be great again. And Miguel Cotto's father, Miguel Cotto Sr., wanted to stop the fight and was talked out of it by the others in the corner, including head trainer Joe Santiago. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. Now flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits him flush with a big left hand. And then flurries. The marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. He can change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes the And he Manny. turns it around and bangs. Margarito viciously on the bad eye. And another one. Hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang! Because that's his biggest factor, is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook to draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. Because I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. Punches a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140 pounder, I think Manny would have knocked out at this point. Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque. Pacquiao do what he does better than any boxer in the game. Let a guy miss, catch him with a punch, let him miss, hit him with a punch again. A lot of guys will let guys miss punches, but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Physically fatigued both. And this uh, what right up. That's he 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 he's ready to go. That's one of the biggest jabs. I didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wraps, hopelessly behind and no, getting no hand movement at all. Pacquiao oh, looking gosh. towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. 
Landed a shot, looked toward. He's out being out punched, but the referee has to wait on a few more seconds before the shot. Well, he's rearranging Margarito's face. If the referee stopped, it wouldn't be any complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop at the table. It's I really like it's, 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 a goal. It, it's a solid target. He's not moving his head. I honestly wonder whether Pacquiao has no more stomach for the punishment. Then he took the fight. Hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys a every guy. time out, and they're all so big. Yeah. And we're done. Jim, your prediction was right.